Hey there, stampers. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this card here and we're gonna do something fun. We're gonna use some of our new embossing paste and we're gonna add some color to it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's see here. First of all, um, the bundle that I'm using is the Oso oh Eclectic bundle. So it's the one that's featured on the front of the catalog. And so it includes the Oso oh Eclectic stamp set and the Eclectic Layers Thinlets. Um, it's got some gorgeous thinlets in here. I love this one. It's great for creating backgrounds, as you'll see in a couple minutes here. But some of these images, I like to create these little sheets when I get a new framelit set because sometimes it's hard to tell when you're looking at a framelit what exactly it does. So you can see that some of them cut out images, so some with details, some just the outline images, but then some of them add like a debossed image. So these two are leaves and then this one's a cute little heart shape. So that's kind of fun. So that kind of gives me an idea of what to expect when I go to use it. So I'm gonna set these aside. The other thing that I'm using that's part of this suite is the um, Naturally Eclectic DSP. And I absolutely love this DSP. Hopefully you can see all the patterns in there. Lots of fun colors. The colors look so, I love this one. The florals are really pretty. Can't go wrong with little arrows. And these are super cute. And this one, I had a hard time cutting into my other sheet of that one because I absolutely love the back side as well as the front side. And then we'll flip them over. And we've got kind of some solid pages. These are kind of like that variegated kind of look. And then some smaller patterns. And then of course some stripes as well, okay? All right, so the first thing that I want to point out is I want to talk a little bit about the embossing paste itself. So this is the embossing paste. It comes in a little tub like this. Um, it is on page 201 of the annual catalog. And also along with that, you can pick up some palette knives. So they come in a set of three. You get that one, this one, and this one. And we're gonna use this one today, so I'm gonna set these two aside. And you can also get um, some masks. So these are our, our patterned party decorative masks. So you get a little Mandela. You get the brick wall. You get a little diamond shape. And then you get some clouds. So these are super cute. So these work really well with the embossing paste, but today I'm gonna to show you how you can use your framelits as templates as well. So remember this image, this framelit here, what I did was I used it to cut out a template that I'm going to use on this card. Um, so I just cut it out of cardstock and I did this for my clubs this month, and you can probably get three or four uses out of a cardstock. So if you're mass producing a card or you can do lots of it, um, you could cut it out of a window sheet and then you can use it over and over and over. All right, so we're gonna use that. The other two things that I suggest that you have on hand when you're using the embossing paste is a silicone mat and some baby wipes. Baby wipes are going to come in handy when it goes when it's time to clean up. It'll make clean up quick and easy. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to take out some embossing paste and put it on our silicone mat. Now this does dry pretty quickly, so you want to scoop it out and then put your lid right back on and make sure it's sealed tight. We are going to use Soft Sky, so I'm just going to put a drop of Soft Sky ink refill on there. And my sample is going to be, my sample that I just showed you is a little darker because I used to pull party instead of soft sky. Um, and I was wondering why it was so dark and that would be why. So I, I want a little bit of a softer look so you'll see the difference with this one. So now all I'm doing is I'm using the palette knife to mix it all in. You wanna make sure that you mix all of it together so that you have no white blobs in there and also no blue streaks. Okay, so now I'm gonna scoot this over to the side. I've got my template and I've got a piece of white cardstock. This measures three and seven eighths by five, five and one eighth. 
and I'm going to put my template right about there and then all I'm going to do is just scoop it up and then just lightly spread it all over. And once you've got it all filled in, then you can kind of run it along and just kind of even it out a little bit. There we go. And this excess, these empty embellishment containers are perfect to store excess in there. So what I did was when I had my, my class is anybody who had any leftovers just put it in the container. And then at the end, all my to-go kits, I just used that. So it worked out really, really well. Um, okay, and then we're going to peel this off and watch how beautiful it looks. Isn't that amazing? And it's so simple. So now you can set that aside and let it dry and then you can reuse it, but I'm not, I'm not gonna need it, so I'm just gonna toss it. So, and this dries pretty quickly. I would probably say about, five, if you give it about five minutes, it should be good. Um, but I'm gonna set it aside. And now what we wanna do before we do anything else is we want to clean this up. So you can clean it up with just warm water, um, but you can also use a baby wipe as well. I find baby wipes just a little handier. So you just wipe that clean and then do the same with your silicone mat. And same with the masks. If you're using the, the plastic masks, you just want to take them and either wipe them with a baby wipe or take them to the sink and rinse them out as well. Okay. So then that's all cleaned up and we can move on to the next part. So the next thing that I want to do, I'm just bringing in a scrap piece of paper here. And do you know what I did? I completely forgot to get the stamps that I need. Oh no, I didn't, they're right here. <laughs> okay, so I am using markers and I'm using the Berry Burst. I've got some paste on my hand here, just a sec. Okay, so I, oh my gosh, that's even worse. Okay, I think I'm better now. Okay, so I am using Berry Burst, which is one of the current in colors and Emerald Envy, which is one of last year's in colors. So I'm going to ink up the flower or the petals in Berry Burst. And if you haven't used our markers before, when you're using them on your stamps, you want to make sure that you use the side of the brush tip rather than the tip of the brush tip. That will prolong the life of your markers. Okay, so I inked that up. I'm gonna use the Emerald Envy. When I'm using multiple colors on a stamp, I always like to start with the lighter of the two colors, or if there are more colors, the lightest color. And then I'll just give this a huff and stamp it down. And now I'm gonna bring in my big shot and use the frame, a framelit to cut it out. And I am so unprepared. I do not have my framelit. Okay. Uh, oh, no, that's not the set. Okay, it's around here somewhere. I just had it. Here it is. Okay, so I'm going to use the floral image to cut it out. So let's just slide my big shot in here. So I've got my magnetic platform, and I'm just going to put this on top. And then I'll put my other clear mat on top and just feed it through. Okay. And then I'll pop this up. And do you know what I forgot to do? Oh man. I forgot to stamp the top part. Okay, we'll, we're going to try something, see if I can ad lib here. Man, you think you I was doing this live, hey? Okay, so. I wanted to add the color so you can see that this one has color in it so I want to add that there is a solid image in the set that works really well um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to ink it up I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp on and that worked pretty well okay so there's my flower and I did that in berry burst now I'm going to start my layers here. 
Okay, so I've got a Knight of Navy card base. So this measures five and a half inches by eight and a half, and it's scored at four and a quarter. And I've got a piece of Berry Burst cardstock, and this measures four by five and a quarter. And the one that I just did is probably not quite ready to be assembled yet. So I'm pulling out one that I did earlier. And I'm going to use a strip of DSP. So this measures three quarters of an inch by, oh, it's, it's less than four inches, but I'm gonna put it along here and then just trim off the excess. Okay, so I'll put this strip on here. And we'll be right about there. And then I've got a strip of the crinkled seam binding in Emerald Envy. I love this crinkled stuff. I remember when we carried the seam binding before and it would wrinkle so easily and I just, I did not like it like that. So I love that this crinkles and it ties just beautifully. So I just used a bit of Fast Fuse. You can use mini glue dots as well. Just stick that on there. And actually I'm gonna trim off the excess of this DSP here. that off and I will put this around the back. Okay, and then and I forgot the strip of navy, so let me just pull out the scrap here. Uh, Knight of Navy. And this is a bit wide, so I'll pull out my paper cutter and just give this a little sip. I think it's about a quarter of an inch. And again, if you cut it long, then you can just snip it off the side. Oh, it might be a little, yeah, it's a little wider than a quarter inch, it's probably half an inch. Okay, and I thought I was prepared for this video, obviously not, but that's okay. All right, so I'm gonna trim this at an angle as well and then put it right on there, over top. Just like this and trim off the excess and then I will add oh my gosh that is not straight I am really struggling with this card okay and then I'm going to add some adhesive here and attach it to my berry burst. And then my berry burst to my Knight of Navy card base. And then I'm gonna add, stamp my greeting. I'm using the word celebrate, which is from the Tabs for Everything stamp set. And stamp this over here, like that. And then I've gone ahead and punched out of vellum cardstock. I used our pretty label punch, punched that out. And then I've got a one and a quarter inch circle in Berry Bliss that I've punched out. This is just gonna go over top of this, like so. And then I'm gonna add a dimensional to the back of my flower. And then I will add three little rhinestones as well. So there you go. That's, that's the card here. And um, you can see the difference between the pool party and the soft sky. The soft sky is much softer. And I wanted to, wanted to point out something else as well. So I found that it was quite important. Well, I guess it depends on the look that you want to get. But it really makes a difference if you smooth it out afterwards. This was one of the first ones that I did. And um, I didn't... I wasn't careful enough to smooth it out and it is really kind of bumpy and if that's the look that you want 
for the card that you're going that you're creating then that's it's not a problem but I really wanted that smooth finish so this one is kind of a little bit of a of an oopsie whereas this is all nice and smooth so you really want to take the time to smooth that out afterwards okay um, yeah so that's all I got for you I hope you enjoyed that just a little taste of the embossing paste um, I have lots of other ideas to use with use the embossing paste for so I'm looking forward to playing with it a little bit more so thanks for watching. If you're looking for more inspiration, feel free to visit my blog at www.stamptreasures.com. Bye-bye.